uh, Gabriel and his family, I won't mention their last name, Gabe, you know why, uh, they lost their cat, Orion. Because he used to book Ring of Honor? No, not that one. Oh. Uh, but they lost their cat, Orion, 15 years old, and he was obviously a big part of their family, and they played the song Saying Goodbye from the Muppets Take Manhattan at his funeral. Oh, that really is f***ing sad. Oh, my God. That's, you know that song? That's a sad song. I've not seen the flick. If you're a kid and you love the Muppets, that's every one of the Muppets leaving the other ones sadly and slowly, including, like, on a train waving goodbye and on a bicycle waving goodbye. <laughs> and everyone leaves Kermit all alone to try to struggle in 1980s Manhattan. And then along comes a goddamn bus or a taxi or something and squashes the frog in the middle of the gutter at yeah. the end. No, seriously, well, not the end, but that is what happens. He gets hit what? by a, Kermit gets hit by a car Wait. and he gets amnesia and he doesn't know who he is and the other Muppets find out that Kermit's play is going to get greenlit. It's going to be on Broadway, <laughs> but Kermit's missing and he doesn't know who he is. So all the other Muppets have to Weesh. reconvene come back to the diner in which all their dreams came to fruition, team up with the rats that work in the diner and the other humans that are there that seem to be accepting of these Muppets, and they have to find Kermit before the Broadway play. Kermit, meanwhile, gets out of the hospital and gets a job as an ad executive on Madison Avenue, <laughs> forgetting anything about his past, and uh, he ends up working as an advertising executive until he bumps into the other Muppets in the diner the day of the opening of the play and they drag him there and Miss Piggy punches him in the head and that triggers him to remember who he is and all the songs and then they get married. I don't know which is more disappointing to me as a member of the human race. The fact that somebody got paid to write that movie or that you just gave that detailed blow by blow description. It's a good movie. You have to... I can't believe you don't appreciate the Muppets. You were a teenager in the late 70s. They were all over what? TV and they were wild. You got a teenager appreciating the Muppets? Yes. The Muppet show was not for little kids. It just so happens that little kids liked it. I, 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 was, I was making towns most of the fucking nights the Muppet show was on the air. The Muppets Take Manhattan's good. You should watch it. You need to review that. The King of Kong and... The Muppets take me. Let me tell you, and at that period of time, if if it was going to be a movie with a lot of people in it, and the back row was going to be empty, I did not see movies like that on dates at that time period of my life. I went to the less popular flicks that were going to be mostly empty. You know what the other interesting thing too is the first Muppet movie is the Muppet movie. The second one's the Great Muppet Caper, where they're in England and there's a jewel theft and they have to solve everything with Charles Grodin as the villain. Then it's the Muppets take Manhattan. And that phrase got to be such a thing that when Friday the 13th ran out of ideas, it was Jason Takes Manhattan. And that was when Jason came to New York and started killing people in Midtown. And now you've established that you know the chronology of all of the Muppets movies. Oh, I know all their stuff. I think they're brilliant. Yeah. Frank Oz, so, Jim Henson, secretly, Richard secretly, Hunt. Secretly, when you were a child, you wanted to stick your hand up Miss Piggy's ass. No, no, she didn't really do it for me. Kermit? I didn't want to stick my hand up his ass. I wanted oh, to kind of... Oh, 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 never mind. I'm, I'm trying. I'm getting too personal with obviously something that's a touchy... Well, we're back on frogs and we're back in Reggie's up. corner. <laughs> There's been a frog... A frog turnaround here.